hi beautiful people welcome back again and thank you for joining me if you're new here hello welcome my name is lillian but you my darling can call me lily lately there have been tension on social media space as always between who ghana nigeria the ghanaians and nigerians are always fighting on social media but this particular one is something that i feel like because i'm a nigerian and i live in ghana i know the culture a little of their culture here i feel like i'm perfect to give my take on it all right so that we can settle this dispute permanently the only dispute i want to see on social media between ghanaians and nigerians is the jello of rice war you see that particular one there keep it alive don't try to don't try to want to end it the other disputes they have been having is seriously beating, crying on social media, uh, the dragging on social media is what again? Okay. No, social media have been the jello fries and the Afro music, Afro beats. Who is the originator of Afro, Afro beats music in Africa, in West Africa? So th there have been this dragging between Ghanaians and Nigerians. So that one, please, you see that particular one too? Don't stop keep those two alive so the one that i want to clear the hair today is that idabasi being claimed to be ghanaian by some ghanaians and why that happened so before you leave your comments insulting listen carefully to the point of understanding but it's not like i'm afraid of insults but i wouldn't want you to later watch the video later and then regret oh i should have been patient to hear her out so be patient to hear me out recently there was this, there was a lady from Akwai Bomb State by name Hidabasi who came out to announce that she was partaking in the guinness book of records she want to cook non-stop for she said 70 something hours but she ended up at at about 90 hour plus so she did that and the whole africa the whole attention was on her we're supporting her they supported her those that are doing it because um everybody is doing it they did it they did it so she was you know making nigerians proud making nigeria proud um with the guinness book of record breaking so during that era during that period a ghanaian blogger wrote that idabasi oh idabasi is an, a ghanaian from moruvongo and it, all that you know some nigerians didn't find it we don't know for me i was thinking maybe the blogger was joking but i think it was mistaken identity the the, the blogger was not playing he actually mistake her to be from moruvongo mistook her to be from ghana so but lots of nigerians were not pleased with that a lot of nigerians on social media only they were not pleased with that a, a lot of people made videos some roads they dragging as usual as they always drag themselves ghana nigeria nigerians and ghanaians so the dragging was on for a long time nigerians were complaining why is it that anytime we see something good you people claim that it's your own when we get good um good people you will say they are ghanaians when we get the bad ones even though they are ghanaians you guys will say they are nigerians eh, vavasa okay so eh, stop stop um snatching our people stop trying to steal our people from us those that are making us proud now that you know the world is watching you know you want to take this away from us again after all after all internationally the world say you guys are the best so leave us alone with this one that is making us proud and all that some people took it very personal but me i was <laughs> i was laughing because i know why ghanians that ghanian blogger said idabasi is a is a ghanian i know why the blogger said so the reason is not because of the guinness book of records it's because of her name okay so let me just educate you on this if you come to ghana for the first time you may hear names like asian you may hear names like of course you've heard of asian because they have a popular michael asian so you may have heard that i don't know how they pronounce it in ghana but in nigeria me i'm from cross river though i'm not calabar so you hear names like basi you hear name like eno okay i don't know how ghanaians pronounce that but we have popular eno okay i think ghanaians pronounce eno eno we have one rapper one nice talented ghanaian rapper by name eno but we if you give me to pronounce her name as a nigerian i will call her eno so it's the name okay it's the name here in ghana you can easily see someone by name um opong you can see name like opong you can see supong 
you can see those names and in nigeria when you hear supong when you hear opong when you hear opong when you hear all those um asian when you hear eno when you hear basi already you know where to look at you're looking at southern nigeria to be precise Akwaibom and cross river state especially cross river south so this is why Ghanaian said she's a Ghanaian. it's not because of the guinness book of record i was laughing the entire time but i wasn't in the mood to get myself indulged in these um trends because i'm not a big fan of trends the only time you see me talking about a trendy topic if it too vests me or if it concerns a mother and child like the case of mercy johnson that i recently talked about which i'm done talking about except if new one come we'll go roll but i like to these are the only type of trends i like to get myself involved so Ghanaians are not claiming nigerians okay relax okay be good be good when you are good it's for everybody of course you don't know that when a child do something in the house when a child makes the family proud the father will be like that's 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 my son that's my daughter but when you do something wrong everybody your siblings want to disconnect your father will be see your son you know every nobody owns that son that is not making people proud that is bringing problem to people so it's okay all right if excuse me my phone is ringing relax your mind okay no canyon is snatching anybody from you and very soon i'm working on a project not really a big project i just i just want to profile some of these are celebrities that usually bring us arguments oh she's Ghanaian. oh she's nigerian yeah both of them i mean these celebrities understands the power of unity more than we so some of them are not even bothering to explain anything to the public oh i'm a nigerian i'm a Ghanaian. no they are just doing them because these things doesn't matter what they are looking at they are looking at the bigger picture and the bigger picture you can't achieve it alone without Ghanaians. you can't achieve it alone without nigerians so the celebrities understand this part very well okay when you ask the video out there where are you from it's gonna just tell you oh i'm from west africa do you get it So we are we are fighting so much and it doesn't make sense so relax nobody is snatching hidabasi or anybody from us okay it's just because of the name so the the Ghanaians have similarity of name with Akwaibom people and that and also with Calabar people it has nothing to do with any other thing all right so I am working to profile some of these are celebrities that are partly Ghanaians partly Nigerians and those that are partly full-time Ghanaians that have something big to do with Ghana and they will never let it go because that is how big Ghana is in their hearts I'm bringing that video very soon so that you see how this dispute will go settle down. So, alright, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!